What's up, y'all? Um, I got a little notification talking about IT would like to stay in LA. I said I gotta hop in the lab and analyze this because do we even want that? Let's hop in the lab. Now y'all know me, you guys know that I like Isaiah Thomas probably more than you do, probably more than Laker fans do, just cause I've been following him since Celtics days and I couldn't really admit that I liked him cause you know, he's on the Celtics, I'll never, I'll never admit anything to them. So, you know, I used to have to like him on the low and then he was an LA native, his favorite player is Kobe Bryant, like, you know, I liked him. I liked him and his whole story. So he came here and I was real excited and then, you know, the assignment went a little, you know, down. But it's still, it's still good. I still like him. But a lot of Laker fans don't. <laughs> and this is what this man had to say about staying in LA. He said, I like it here. I like the situation I'm in. The system, the coaching staff, the organization's been great to me. If things work out, I would love to be here. You just never know. With free agency, you've got to keep your options open. I have no complaints since I've stepped foot and put a Laker uniform on. <sighs> The dude likes it here. I don't blame him. You know, sunny beaches. In LA, you're gonna be a star regardless. I just saw something on Twitter really quick. Kuzma has more followers than CJ McCollum. Don't ask me how I figured that out. I just was happening to switch through NBA players' Instagrams. I was like, dang, like LA really is that place. You're gonna get that notoriety, that fan base, because we're just lit. That's not the point. Point is though, that LA is a great place to be and right now when the tides are turning and we're kind of going up, this is where you gotta be. It's facts. But Isaiah, he doesn't wanna be a six man. And he made that very clear. Let me read his comments. He said, I ain't no six man and I won't be a six man in the future. I just want everybody to know that like as clear as can be. I'm a two time all star and a starter who has done things that a lot of people in this league haven't done when given that opportunity. So it's clear, he, he's letting us know like if he stays, he has to start. Now, I don't know about that big dog, like, well, big dog, I don't know if, big dog, he's a dog, I mean, big. I don't know about that, Isaiah, I don't know. <laughs> look, let's just look at his stats, let's just be scientific about this. We're in the lab, we gotta be scientific. He's averaging 15.6 points in 26.9 minutes per game. Not bad, um, the field goal percentage though, you know. But still, he's averaging 15.6 points. But he ranks 101st out of 102 point guards on ESPN's defensive real plus minus list. Like, do you realize that's like, that is one away from being the bottom of the list in the league. Like you can't be demanding, Lonzo has a way better defense than you. And you're over here demanding to start. And the thing is, I know there are gonna be some people in the comments saying, well, we can just try out this different lineup with Isaiah point guard, Lonzo a shooting guard. Like y'all were really, really kind of hammering for that. But that hasn't happened for a reason. Like. We're not just gonna experiment with that next season and try it out like, and sign him to a deal. If they were going to even think about that, in my opinion, they'll be experimenting with it. Maybe they'll start towards the end of the season because playoffs, um, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot with that. Um, losing all these close games, not playing the defense, maybe it was his fault. But I'm saying like, if they wanted to experiment with that type of lineup, y'all, they would have done it or they're gonna do it soon. My point is if they don't experiment with that lineup, just kill that talk. Like they're not going to sign him to a long deal, not having experimented, not knowing. That doesn't even make sense really logically. So that just, I don't think that's the way the Lakers are gonna go. And I have a hard time thinking they're gonna bench Lonzo. I just, just don't see that. So I hate to break it to you, but Isaiah like, I like the dude. I really do, but like to say I ain't no six man, like I have done this, you have. You have, but like, you're not Celtics Isaiah Thomas yet. Show us Celtics Isaiah Thomas before the year's out for a couple of games straight. And you know, you can you can bargain for yourself. But for right now, like there's a reason you're not starting. There's a reason. 
you haven't really proved it, have you? He did have a game when he went out for like 39 points, I believe, or 36 points, something like that. He's been having 20 point games here and there, but he's averaging 15 points right now. The field goal percentage isn't super high. <laughs> um, his defense is not good at all, so I just don't know what he expects. I wanna know what you guys think though in the comments below, like listening to his comments and what he's told us, I'm not gonna be a six man, but he does like it here. And the team chemistry is pretty good. I like when he's on the court, not the defensive end, but like when he's on the offensive end, I, I enjoy it. So I don't know, just it does not seem likely just looking at the situation. But what do y'all think? Leave it in the comments below. Like this video and let me know what topics you want me to cover next. Send them to me, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and I'll get on them. Subscribe, join the Splash Squad. I'll see y'all later. Peace.